Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Art So Wonderful Show. This is Bruce Wilson, Executive Director of Art So Wonderful and Service Rendering. And uh, I thought I would, you know, get in touch with you guys and just let you know um, what's going on, you know. So it's just going to be me. And um, I enjoy doing these things now and then. Probably, I probably can count how many that I've done by myself. But um, but I enjoy doing it. So sometimes I get the urge to do them. And I think now is the time for me to do one so you can understand uh, what's going on from here for me. And right now, I'm, I'm actually at the City Place Burlington Mall in one of a space that we use as an art gallery, or another art, so wonderful gallery. We have two, one, one is here. And one is at um, University Mall, um, pretty big one, like 5,000 square feet. And so the one here at the City Place Burlington Mall is moving upstairs in the mall. So it's moving up towards um, what Paxson is and um, the front, the, off the Church Street Main Street. If you walk in, come in from Church Street Main, um, no, Church Street Marketplace. And you'll be walking right into our space. Um, it's not ready yet, but we changed it. It's going to be our art studio, where artists can come in and uh, actually work on their art, you know. Um, and so that's what we're going to be working on. That's what we're working on, actually. So basically, this old space was a gallery. We, we thought, well, we got an art gallery at the University of Mall. It's gigantic. And um, it said over, over 5,000 square feet. And so, so we didn't need to. But our studio would be perfect for um, individuals who like to do art. Many people, who uh, many artists, have said that if they only had a place to work to do art, then that would be like full circle for them. You know, like do their arts and sell their art. You know, I said, wow, what a great idea. And so here it is. Art So Wonderful Art Studio coming up, coming near you. I, don't, I haven't made a date yet. Because um, I'm just sitting here trying to figure it all out. You know, I got some some of my artists and team who work with us for UVM. I just want to paint it, you know, like a trim color, because it's pretty, the, the um, it's pretty uh, uh, clean in there, you know. It, it really, yeah, I could not, I don't have to paint nothing in there, really, all white, but I would throw a little, you know, some type of green or green uh, trim, not really green, but uh, we have to have green color uh, that we will do, that we're going to do. So I'm just like um, moping around in here. I got some, some things I got to throw in the garbage. Da da da. So, University Mall's um, space, art gallery is going on well. We opened up August 41st. We sell art all the time. And uh, a lot of people come in, they say it looks like an art museum. And that's, that's what I wanted it to look like, an art museum, you know? They said they never seen like an art a gallery in a mall. And so I didn't really think about it, but I, don't, I haven't never seen an art um, gallery in a mall either. And so maybe we're one of the first. And um, people come in, they bring their kids in, and they mope around, look at all the art, talk about it. Um, we have some incredible artists from all around the state state the Vermont artists and then this work is like go from like down a couple hundred to like a few thousand you know oh it's amazing art every time I walk in that place I um gotta cruise cruise the place to see look at that art I have a art director who um works for me her name is Alondra de la Coyesta she's a curator at art and um and, uh, get, um Record. She's amazing, man. She put that place together and she put this one together too in Burlington Mall. And I depend on her like crazy. Without her, I wouldn't know what to do because I'm, I'm not an artist, <laughs> first of all. Um, I'm not an artist. Well, every time I say I'm not an artist, I have to take it back because Art So Wonderful was created in 2003. And um, I had my interns from UVM art department. We were doing murals because we've been doing murals, murals since 2002 or one. And we was doing a mural. She said, Bruce, Bruce, please come on, help out with the mural, get on the wall. And I'm like, I'm not no artist. I said, I can't even draw a stick, man. 
but one arm would be longer than the other. If I did, she said, Bruce, Bruce, that's art. You're from Chicago. Look at the Picasso bird. Da, 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 da. So now every time I, and this was 2003 or something, but every time I say I can't, I'm not an artist, I got, I think of Vanessa, I'm like, I guess I am an artist. And like all, and the rest of us. So, so we all are artists. And individuals who have art that they've been working on, and it's all stacked up in their closets, please get in touch with um, uh, Alondra de la Cuesta, or you know, you can look at our um, website or you know, all our social media. You can, you'll find her, believe me, or you'll find me, you know. Um, and I will pass it on to her, um, and um, she will ask you for some samples to send through email. And she'll get back with you. She, she's real fast at getting back with people. And she'll get back with you and let you know what to do. Now, the good thing about us and what we do is that, and I don't, I don't, we know better than nobody. And I always have to say that. Probably everything you hear me say is like I say, we know better than nobody. Because I, I have to have everybody to help me do this. But anyway, we know better than nobody. And, but we do believe in people. That's why we do believe in what people's um, needs are. And so, uh, through our uh, due diligence, we found out how art galleries um, usually operate. And a lot of the times, well, every time we looked at it, they charge you to hang your work. And they take a large percentage from when you make, when you sell it, like, I don't know, like 45, man, sometimes 50. So for us, we, had, we, we charge you absolutely zero dollars to hang your art. And when you sell your art, we give you 70%. I mean, how wonderful is that? You know, we just want to help you for real. And so people love it. They can't believe it. Every time I say that to somebody, or artist, they, I would say like three or four times, like, you mean you only want to take 30%? Yep. That's right. We do it. And that's all. The, everything we do is like that, though. But anyway, so art gallery is going well. We've um, always going to, we always add it adding things like when I first got that open that place up, you know, before I opened it, in my little tiny brain, I was saying, yeah, you know, we're gonna do performances in here because we have Vermont local art music, you know, and um that's been around since 2003. And we worked we've done things at the jet for I don't know, 15, I don't know how many is it, Jazz Fest, Kids Day. We've done we performed at um some what was it? Oh show museum all kind of incredible places that we can give individuals the opportunity to showcase their music at these places from at the highest level that's what we try to do there's nothing that spend space and da -da -da -da, echo and all kind of cool places and we use artists who probably you would never um well, i'm gonna say never but you know it takes it's not easy to get into the jazz but or you know, what we do on uh, Church Street Market, Church, yes, but it's hard to just get in, in some of these places. And for us, it's, it's, it's easy. You know, you know, we've been doing this for the last, you know, we know uh, we work with people who believe in our mission goals and exactly by helping other to meet their goals. And so, um, so we're going to do so. We've been doing it, shall I say. The first day we opened, August 21st, we had um, uh, Jack Hansen Jazz. We had, um, Commissioner's office from the Department of Health. And um, we did our opening. And, and basically, we did um, uh, the commissioners, we did a, we had that, our art uh, gallery right across from the center court where they you know, actually have like Santa Claus and you know, Easter Bunny. And stuff. So we were very fortunate to have that space, center court across from our art gallery. And so the commissioner's office talked about habits, they talked about measurements, they talked about uh, uh, ethnicities of who might require it, you know, health factors, and which was awesome. And we had an audience of, um, you know, we had a stage built there, and it was an audience that we provided seats, seating six feet apart, rows, six feet uh, rows. And, um, you know, obviously we did it right because the Department of Health didn't have no complaints. They thought we did it well. And the same with our um, art gallery opening, you know, people would enjoy the art in our art gallery. We had Shelburne Vineyards there. Uh, we had, um, uh, where people would go down to see our incredible thousand square, thousand foot 
mural that we did in food court with um, Michael Mullins illustrating. Incredible things we um, already have done there. And it was incredible. So um, Valentine's Day, and we did an event with uh, Jack Hansen Jazz stage in the center, center courts. And um, we just was playing, you know, they just play love music for people, you know, to come by. And, you know, that's all we wanted to do. They just have, give um, individuals the opportunity to be in a, to have something different on their brain to call it and just get some cool music, you know, something they can, you know, enjoy and sit back and relax to. You know, Jack Hansen Jazz is <laughs> incredible. So that we did that. So now on March 27th, um, I don't have all the time for me, but but uh, Vermont Youth Orchestra will be performing in our space. We'll have um, Jack Hansen Jazz there. We'll have uh, Max Palmer on the center court doing comedy. Oh, he's so funny. Max Palmer, look him up. He's going to do a comedy in the center court. You know, not all at once. We have certain time schedules, so I don't have it in my brain, but you can look it up. Um, I think from University of Mall, social media. Matter of fact, I got to check it, look at it myself. But it's going to start around three, or eight, five, six, like four o'clock, 4 p.m. And we have several um, venues there. Um, serving up some wine. And, um, you know, once again, we just want to give individual opportunities to showcase their talent. God knows we don't need to give um, Grandma Youth Orchestra uh, opportunity to showcase their talent. Because every time you see them, they are at the Flint. But um, we have a good partnership, and we know that they really want to perform somewhere based on that Flint Flint is not really at its 100% or nowhere near it. And so they just, you know, they, they just want to do more of this practice. So here you go. They got it at our space. And then in um, April 23rd, I think, wherever it's Friday or, or Saturday, we're going to have DJ Aras, famous DJ downtown, play at the club downtown, doing a little hip hop right on Center Court, building the big stage. And I think A2Z2 is going to be performing as well. So every month, we're going to do something that's going to, um, and it's free, free for the, community, you know, they just come in and enjoy themselves and just lay back for a minute, and have something to do and something different than, you know, worrying about if somebody got their mask on correctly or if it's not old enough, or we got to worry about it. Do we get our back? When is our vaccination? And, you know, it just, even though we have to make sure it was mandates, like we have to make sure that they're all mandated, but we don't have to worry about it. You know, we just have to make sure that we have some type of life too. Because, and for me, I have, that's what I got to do for myself. So I'm a little, it's, it, a lot of this got to do with my own little selfish self. <laughs> Cause I want these things and we've been doing them. Like, like I say, for my local art music, we're doing this stuff since 2003. And, and so I don't know what's going to be in April. I mean, um, April, May, May. So if any of you have ideas how, um, what you might want to see is Center Court and University Mall in May. We'll send us an email, send it to um, to me, arts, A R T S, arts, so wonderful, numeral two at, well, the number two at gmail.com. And that's my personal email. Or you can send it to Bruce Wilson, B R U C E W R L S O N, 817 at gmail.com, I, I, I believe. And send it to me and say, we'd like to see these people perform, um, you know, in May. It's in court at University Mall. Oh, God, let me tell you something. We had an incredible, like, UVM Champlain dancers. Look them up. UV, I mean, not UVM. <laughs> Champlain College dancers did a video in our space in November. It was like 15, 20 of them. Oh, my God, they're the best. They're, they're incredible dancers. Look, look them up. Champlain College dancers. Look them up on um on um, YouTube or um uh, look them up through our social media. Arts are wonderful. Or you will see them performing, man, right there in our space. They, they did a video. You see the finished video, and they did some little bit out in center court. All oh, can they jam? I you know God, if I was thinking, I would have had those. I would have slipped those videos to um. Um, town meeting uh, TV, but I, I didn't. Um, I don't know. 
maybe they can, maybe I will, and they can somehow do add it or something. But I'm telling you, I, I look, it was so funny. I look in the, sometimes I look at the History Channel, or well, all the time I look at the History Channel on, uh, on YouTube, and then uh, in the name how they'll flip up and say, look at this, look at that. And then sure enough, here was Channel Flame Dance is flipped up on, on YouTube. I'm like, I get so excited. I had to play it because I was there when they did it. And I'm so happy to give them an opportunity to do that. Oh, man, they're incredible. They perform at the Flame as well. So these are some things that we do at our art gallery. It's not just an art gallery. It's, it's a people place. It's a multicultural and, uh, place. It's, you know, we're open to all ideas. You know, I mean, we're not limited to none, and um, you know, I'm I'm trying to get I'm I'm trying I'm in contact with a climbing wall see if they can come bring a climbing wall so we can have a day of a maybe we do it in center court. I'm trying I have a contact. I was looking at some potential for climbing wall, and I know years ago it was our sponsors. We used to bring a climbing portable climbing wall to the beach, and we had events at park. So, man, I want to, and they came into uh, actually came to University Mall one time and did some. So that's my next move right now. So when I get off this, I'm gonna go talk to them, see if they can come through that climbing wall. Was people just climb that wall? And of course, we won't charge you absolutely nothing. We always accept in the donation box. We have to because we have to survive. But um, we don't, you know, you can give us something you don't. Uh, but that would be cool. That climbing wall will be back. I want to see that in there. So pressure cliff climbing wall. They don't know. I'm this my first time saying that. My mom. I haven't contacted them yet, but. They used to be our sponsor. I, I think they might have sold it some years ago, but we'll get back with them. And so, so I'm excited about the work I'm doing. So here it goes. So recently, like I was down under, under like I was um, had hurt my foot, and I um, a shelf had fell on it from the back room because we're gonna move all these shelving out, not all of them, most of the shelving out our back room in the University Mall because I'm gonna have a artsy class for our um, for the kids and parents, you know, anybody actually, we're gonna do that. Um, but it's so cool, you know, they get to come back. We've always done that actually. And they make jewelry, make it, and they do, you know, pastel colors and all this stuff, you know, take them off the landscape, just that. And we've been doing that. That's how Arts of Wonderful actually got going. You know, um, we used to do that in around 2002. But anyway, so now we're gonna have the Arts and Crafts going back again. We Last time we had it was, um, I think, Couple of years ago, and we did it at the library in the University of Mall, and Casey Clark would come and teach these individuals art. Well, we did our chill out too, um, about art and crafts. And they, you know, I had a sponsor at the Midnight Jewelers. We give they don't get like these plastic beads. It's incredible, real beads and stuff. And that's what we're going to be using for these parents and use for families. And uh, so I got to get these. I got to get these. Uh, Children down. So when you know, I was trying to test it to see how they came, one of them hit me on top of the foot, bam. Oh my God, it was painful. And um, as you would guess, would anybody who get hit on top of the foot with an like a metal shelving. So it kind of broke the skin. So I had to go to the doctor, you know, I went there after a couple of days, so like, oh, I just gotta soak it and this, that, and other. And then they thought it might have been infected, you know, man, that I could have an infection and be the bone or something. So so I had to go through these procedures. So they kept me at the hospital for um, a few days. That was October 4th. And then um, they did these series of tests on me. And they said that they found, you know, that I had a, a blood clog on my um, lung and my heart. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> my lung, you know, blood on my lung and my heart. Come on, man. You know, most of you who know me, you see me riding my bike, you see me, you know, Hanging out, shooting ball, and because I had basketball trip, I created basketball three times for 15 years, playing ball, all the things I love. And I never felt like that. I don't smoke, so I don't, I, how the hell that happened? And so, sure enough, they, it, it found out that, okay, it's not, you know, the one on your lungs, not really, it's not really there, but there. And then the one on your heart is, is, is there. And so they had me taking these blood thinners and this, that, and other stuff. Kind of, Know, or whatever. And so now I'm better. And I um, still got to take these little, this blood thing. I see my doctor on March 18th. It's just truly lame. You being too lame. And um, see what's good. And then I'm putting on this, whatever you call it, thing when they put you under, like, those little things on you. They got another name. It's not like, you know, 
MRI and I had all that stuff, but it's something that they could do. Cardi cardiac like I don't know. So we'll see if any blood clots, but I, I don't feel like it ever is. I'm back I, I'm doing things like this. So I thought I might share that with everyone because you know people hear about things real fast about a person and that's one thing they want people you guys to know and see me and say, well he ain't dead. He is he is all right. And I, he you know he's talking to him. So I ain't dead yet. And um and so I just want you to know here I am. We're still doing the same thing. I cut down though, I cut back on a lot of things. There's a lot of things I'm not gonna be doing. Not me personally. So we cut back on a lot of a lot of service we rendered. We had over 10 programs, so some of the programs we're not gonna be doing. But the art gallery, art art so wonderful, United College Club, get fit Vermont. Oh, we're gonna have yoga, yoga at the art gallery. Oh my god, how incredible that's gonna be. Yoga at the art gallery, man. You're gonna love that. Well, we always had yoga, you know, one one year it was like Lulu Lemon Girls here, facilitating art, you know, um, uh, uh, yoga, and we had some uh, other person, Malika, she was the best, she's the best, I think. And then, so now we're trying to find some other um, yoga um, facilitator. And I need it, I'm telling you, I used to do the yoga all the time, like once, twice a week, and we had at our, when I, our youth, Gallery, chill out center that, that I opened up since many you guys know about the chill out center youth centers in law. Um, and I'm telling you, I wasn't like, you know, like all that, you know, I could bend over, you know what I mean, and all that stuff. But um, I wouldn't go, oh, 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 every time I got up a move. And I'm telling you, um, now that I don't do yoga, that's all I do. So when I get up, oh, ah, ah, move my back, my, oh, you know, and yeah, I don't think I'd be hurting like that either. I didn't like this normal. Oh, so I definitely got to get back into yoga. And this, and this, you know, I didn't let everybody else get back in yoga too at, at our place. Now we're not going to charge you absolutely a dime. We we're just going to do. Um, uh, yoga by donations, you know, man. You know, we gotta get into facilitator sometimes. You know, I don't have a budget for. I don't have. We basically, basically, don't have budget for absolutely nothing. Zero dollars. We're just so fortunate to have individuals like you guys and um, a lot of impressive people in Vermont to help us. You know, what I mean, they always have since 1999. You know, they believe in our mission goals and objectives, and they see the outcomes and measurements of the work that we do with you primarily you and the people in the community. So I'm really happy about that. How can you not be? Um, so let me see, what else? Um, Art So Wonderful, oh, so come in the Art So Wonderful Gallery. If you want to submit some work, look up Alondra uh, de, Alondra de la Cuesta. Go to our um, website or social media, and, and she's going to ask you to send her some samples to her email, and then she wants to ask you, do you, is it on Canvas? Because that's what she, you know, that's what all our work is on Canvas. All people's work is hanging in, in our galleries on Canvas. Come to the March 27 event, you know, our space is over 5,000 square feet, but but we only, only have, we're only gonna make, make it work for like 30 people, like, we know, we, we're not gonna fill it up to capacity because we wanna be safe. It's going to be six foot distancing. It's going to be uh, PPE, everything that we're supposed to do, you know. But it's going to be people's going to do it. People can walk around, enjoy the art. They can sit there and listen to um, Vermont Youth Symphony, Vermont Youth Orchestra, Jack Hanson, listen to Jack Hanson Dance. They'll go out and hear Max Palmer, comedian. Look, Max Palmer, I'm telling you, Max is. <laughs> Yo, man, Max is so funny, you know. He's, and he's out, uh, we call him ventriloquist. Oh, he's gonna bring his puppies out there for the kids. Well, I don't know. No, he, I had, I, every time I say, Max, Max, people bring their kids to this. You can't, we gotta do stuff with kids, but he just can't say, he just can't do adult stuff. And so he's been working on it. So I'm, yeah, I know he's not gonna do anything that's gonna, when he see kids around in the audience, and he's not, that's, it's gonna be all good for him. So, um, March 27, 4 p.m., University Mall, um, the um, Vermont Youth Orchestra starts. 
they start from zero. They go from five to six. Jack Hanson Jazz, he's like an interval like when we take breaks. Max Palmer, it was going to start around seven in the center court. Um, uh, Shelvin Vineyards will be serving wine probably till seven. Um, we will have some um, raffles that we'll try to um, earn some money from and give you good prizes to win. I haven't got the prize yet, but we have some good sponsors. They, they'll probably throw us some stuff. You know? I'm sure they will. Um, if you want to throw us some stuff, 155 Dorset Street, Unit B7. 155 Dorset Street, South Burlington, Unit B7, Mississippi, which we are so wonderful. And um, we'll take gift cards, and, you know, all kind of food stuff. Uh, oh, no. So, uh, Alondra, like, I think it's, I don't know, every, you can look up um, City Market Burlington. She does art for the families there every, it could be every Sunday, maybe every two weeks. Look that up, because um, she told me that they, they do really, really, a lot of people feel it's a waiting list, she said, but uh, but uh, it's like cool art that um, we work with um, City Market in Burlington and, and with parents and youth. And um, it's, a good, it's a big deal. So check that out, you know. Also, too, if you're at the ever ever at Shelburne um, Vineyards and Shelburne Room, we have art hanging in there. Oh, incredible art. So if you don't, you know, if you go in there and have a drink, you know, um, at, um, who knows, at Fiddlehead across the street, you know, or eat some pizza over there, or go to, are you going, stop over at the vineyard and um, see the art that's hanging up there. Incredible art, you know. You know, uh, Londra put some art from one up. Uh, from artists and hunger care, you know, and really, you might be able to go online and look at the Shelvin Music, I'm Shelvin Music, Shelvin Vineyards, you know, um, displays, where I'm sure you can see it, you know, I'm so way behind, as you can tell, I am, as a director, executive director, I am so not, you know, like, I should check the website, I should check the, you know, I think I do, but, but I'm always informing people, my team, I always let me know what's going on, I, I put it in their hands, I mean, why would I, why would I, um, Ask Alondra to um to why would I say do this, do that, do that? You know, I don't. When people send me stuff like to my email, I say, please, can we hang out? And I forward right to Alondra. So Alondra, let me see the art. Tell me what the protocol is. And da, da, da. That's how. That's what I do. I don't say. I don't. I, for, in our art galleries, I never touched a piece of art, and I never hung a piece of art. So I, that's not. That's not my job. Solandra de la Cuesta. So I know I said, it's something else I want to say for get you know, off here, but I can't think of what it is. Oh yeah. So to be looking forward to um, our uh, art studio opening at the City Place Pearl Mall. You walk right in off of Church Street Marketplace, do 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 do, past Starbucks. And uh, it used to be a camera shop, Lazat. And we took over that spot. I don't know, you're like about a thousand. Um, but it's going to be for art for people to showcase their art to do their art, and we might have something. We might do a paint and sip. I ain't trying to step on no toes because I see it's a paint and sip right on Cherry Street. And they seem to do very well. But so somebody is in my um, advisory team said we should do it, but I'm gonna have to look into that a little more because I don't want to do no paint and sip, take something from um, somebody who's out who's been doing it and it seems like they've been successful. You know, it's kind of small in there, but it's, it works for them. So. I, I I don't know if we're gonna do that, but you know, I don't know, maybe painting painting tea or something. You know, I, don't, I don't prefer having alcohol serving alcohol at uh, our events, you know. But I don't prefer doing that. I don't I don't I don't like the um, liability for it and I don't um you know, I don't want nobody getting impaired if they have to drive and and my advisor and my boy would they definitely tell you we don't want nobody walking out and get hit by a truck, you know, because they, you know, so we don't actually, we don't like, we don't want really nothing from alcohol sales. We, we like uh, donations, like Shelvin Museum, I mean, uh, Shel Shelvin, I don't want to speak to the Shelvin Museum, Shelvin Vineyards, you know, we don't, we don't, we don't, it's no, we don't want to proceed from that event. They got their own license. They got their own. They do. They get their own license from the state. 
that they um, show that they, they say that we have our license and um you know yeah you, know, you know it looks something like um, it looks something like this you know this is one of our sponsors too and then here's your license and so they'll put that up showing that well yeah real good to serve alcohol at our so wonderful but when it comes down to you buying wine from them we don't want a dime we don't want a dime from that what you bought now we we will take donations from um Shelvin Jr. but we don't care we don't care if we get donations from them because what we want is that you know to have a real good event like who don't like Shelvin Jr. You know, come on man. <laughs> Shelvin Jr. is like or, or fiddlehead or or our sponsors I mean who who don't like our alcohol sponsors they're the best that's why we have them at our place for you not for not for us so anyways I guess I'm out of um, ran out of things to say. I mean, I didn't run out of things to say, but I just, just can't, it's something else I should be saying. I'm like, oh, oh, when you go on the university mall, we put an incredible thousand, I think I might have said a thousand foot mural right in the food court. Yeah, I did say that. Oh, God, go check it out. It's working with uh, Michael Mullen. If you ever went to Target and you seen that mural behind, uh, that's in the Targets, behind the service desk, he's the guy who did that, and he's the guy that worked with us to do it with so like 15 artists. That on my table came up with the concept. But going to, if you're in the mall, go in the, um, go in the um, University Mall food court and look at that meal. And if you take a selfie, this is a lot of what she told me. Said, if you take a selfie in front of that mural, and we got another one in called Vermont, right across the way by our body of bath road, towards the edge again. If you take a selfie in front of any of our murals, any of them, Black Lives Matter, Louisiana House, Trophy Beverage, we got, we got tons of them. We will give you something. Send it, put it, send it to a, a lot of the people of course, the, to our social media. And then you take a picture of you in front of any of our murals, we will send you something. We'll give you something. All righty. So this is Bruce Wilson, Executive Director of Our So Wonderful Service Window. And uh, we just can continue to do incredible things. Oh! <laughs> I knew, it was, uh, I knew it was gonna hit me before I go. And this is quick. So if you look around town in Burlington particularly, it's the graffiti's been it's been bombed up. Like the town is like incredibly bombed, what they call it, they bombed the wall. You know, we have all the meals, we have sixty percent of the meals around. And so we also have a graffiti abatement program that cleans the graffiti and we try to put murals on it because in two thousand one in my study, if you put a mural on over graffiti down in it. So if you, um, we need volunteers because we're going to clean up um, graffiti like crazy and put murals on. You need some community service opportunities or you just want to work with us to do these um, um, murals and clean up graffiti, uh, contact me, Bruce Wilson, B-R-U-C-E-W-I-L-S-O-N-817 at email.com. Say I want to be a part of your mural team and um, we'll graffiti abatement program. And you know I'm not gonna hesitate to contact you because we need to, we're trying to get our team together right now because it's March and soon it's gonna be um, warm enough to really do get some work done. So that's what I knew I was forgetting. Thank you very much for tuning in to our so wonderful show. I'm Bruce Wilson and I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>